Hey everybody, Quilt Marine here. So we're still working on our New York Beauty and that's Gunner queuing in at right on time. So we're gonna work on borders today, the border that we're building for our New York Beauty. And I hope you're having a great day, but let's work on our border. So remember when um, I told you that I didn't blow up the, the, uh, the blocks up to the full 200%, I went 155. Okay, so we got those borders out of that same thing, same sizing, 155. I went stayed at 155 because I wanted an eight inch block. So on this block, you gotta remember too, since I didn't go to full size, you can't go full quarter, quarter inch seam allowances, all right? So on that, remember when I did the curve video? When I did the curve video, I was talking three sixteenths and not three eighths. Three eighths push you past the quarter. We need three sixteenths. Okay, so three sixteenths is what I use for my seam allowance, all right, on everything, all right, no quarter inch seams, all right. The only time you see a quarter is when I'm using my add a quarter to cut uh, my fabrics, all right. Um, so it's three sixteenths, not three eighths, all right. Note to self, learn the ruler, all right. So three sixteenths. If I go three eighths, that's larger than a quarter. All right, and we don't use quarter inch seams because I didn't blow all the way up to 200%. Anyway, let's let's get to the border. Okay, so we're gonna build our border, all right? So we're, we're building a border, and the thing that's fun about building this border in particular is I'm using scraps, I'm using everything, all right? So you know I'm going to my scrap bin and I'm snatching fabric out of there. I'm using, I got a nice little pile over here that I built. Look at that, that's all nice. Ooh, look at that. All right, all right, stop obsessing. Here we go. All right, so remember when I talk, told you, so here's what I'm working from. This is the copy, all right? I copied that, that's at 155 on one of those 14 inch pieces of paper in the printer, okay? I just cut out a strip, then I do my, my little bends, my little pre-bends, right? And then we start. So, all right, so let's start this thing, all right? So remember, the print side is the stitch side. That's the side you're gonna be sending your stitches down range on, okay? So, let's go ahead and grab a little piece here. Look at that, all right, easy. Go to the outside, right? Remember, right side facing up. Let's grab a pen. I'm just gonna pin it on the inside because we need to hold this in place until we can get our first stitches on, okay? No worries. Let's put that in there, okay? First things first, let's do a cut, okay? Along the line, right? So let's turn it over. Let's just fold it along the line there and turn it over, okay? Get my added corner ruler. Safety first, right? Be careful. Get that out of there. Look at that. All right, here we go. We're starting. We are starting. Quilters. Okay. Let's get another peak. Let's get another. Let's get another strip here. Okay, I've got a bunch of stuff laid out here. Ooh, this is nice. Let's throw this on here. Right side's facing, right? But it's a batik, so there there is no wrong side. All right. Just throw that on. Let's take it to the machine. Okay, so on the machine, because this is normal, normal paper, right? This is normal printer paper. My stitch length is going to be on one, all right? I want my stitch length on one because it's going to help me when I peel my paper, okay? If it's on two, it's going to put stress on, on the stitches and you're going to have issues, all right? So I'll keep it on one for this type of paper. Now for copy paper, I put it on two, all right? Because copy paper rips really, really easy, all right? No worries though. Let's turn this around here. All right, so let's go ahead and... So now look, so on this, what I, what I like to do is I like to stitch off from off of the uh, paper onto the paper through the paper off the paper, okay? It's gonna help you when you need to 
peel paper and, 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 and make little assist rips and everything like that, okay? This back stitch here, you know it's on a one. You guys notice that I cleaned up my machine a little bit, huh? Yeah, I know you were talking about it. All right, so let's lift that up here. All right, let's take it to the iron. But now look, we can take our pin out because now the fabrics are secure. They're, they're attached to the paper, okay? So let's take it to the iron. Okay, so on these, you can do, you can, you can, you can nail, nail, um, press these, all right? It's okay. And keep on going, it's no worries. I've just gotten used to using my iron, that's all. All right, let's get that seam pushed down. All right, so we're gonna take it over to, to the cutting mat and cut it. Okay, so we're on our cutting mat, right? Let's flip it over. This is where our seam went. But we need to fold it along this line, all right? So we're just gonna give it a little rip along that. Let's fold it, turn it over. Okay, get my add a quarter. This add a quarter is, I like this rule. This is a really nice rule. Nice and slow so we don't cut ourselves. Roll this thing over. All right, we're making progress, right? So let's add something else to that. Okay. Um, oh, this looks pretty cool. All right, right side facing, right? All right. Remember, I like starting off of the paper, okay? And when I get to like right at the tip of the uh, point, I'll backstitch. Sorry about that. Add a little light to the situation here. Yeah. of the paper let's take it to our iron all right now let's not to okay so let's 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 finger press it so i can show you that it actually works we'll open it up all right i'm a guy so my nails are non-existent as they she right all right it should be all right so give that a little push there and it still works the same no worries all right even if your iron went down or you're not you're not into the bouncing back and forth. That's what I'm into. It's part of my process, okay? All right, so just like we did before, all right, let's roll it over. This is our last stitch line, right? So this is where we need to fold, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tear along here so I can get to that line right there. And then I'm gonna fold it over right on that line. Add a quarter. And we're gonna cut. Okay, so we're gonna keep doing that, all right? We're gonna go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, until eventually we have this, right? All the way down, all right? So the, the, we're gonna clean it up, all right? So when we clean it up, all I'm gonna do is flip this thing over, all right? And we're gonna, because there's a hard line here, look at this hard line. I'm gonna use that. And the inside, see this? Okay, so I don't know if you can see, but that's a quarter right there. From this edge, this first line is one quarter. So on this, I can do that because it's gonna be the border. So it's gonna be the furthest outside edge of the quilt. So I'm not worried about um, mismeasurement, all right? So I'm gonna use that to go with a quarter, and I'm just gonna cut that, okay? Let's cut that off there. All right, be careful, rotary cutter, okay? No hospital visits. All right, 
same thing on this side. Some, some scraps you just can't use, okay? All right, and roll it over. And that's our, that will be our border. So I'm building a bunch of these to put on the outer edge of our New York Beauty, okay? And the fun thing about this is, so on the inside of my New York Beauty, I'm just going with um, batiks and solids, right? So I'm trying to stay in that zone of batiks and solids, but you can do whatever you want to do. Um, but on the on my border, I'm using everything, okay? And I'm reaching into my, my scrap bucket, which I love using. And and I, the border is actually a, a little bit more fun than building the New York Beauty itself because the border allows me to just reach and grab and throw all kinds of stuff onto it. And also, like, throw things in there to, to maybe uh, trivia, throw some trivia, like, you know, find the stars or something like that. But I like building the, the, the New York Beauty. The New York Beauty has been really fun and paper piecing i think is kind of like my i'm kind of leaning towards enjoying a little more than, than than the other cool thing that i've been doing but don't don't worry we're not gonna i'm not gonna go od on paper piecing just a little bit just a little bit because the um the mariner's compass is another one that i want to kind of build that looks challenging and i used to think it was super intimidating and i kind of still do because those are some pretty sharp points we're going to tackle that one pretty soon too. All right, so let me finish building this. When we come back, we'll, we'll nest some of our blocks together and we'll try to get this thing knocked down, all right? So thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And remember, it's only fabric and it's only thread.